Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. It is Trucking Tuesday. Let's call a few folks out and I'll get the game screen up. Ernie Brown, Chris Everett, Buck Williams, and there's D. D says I'll be working and listening. Appreciate you being here, D. All right. That's everybody's chatted so far. All right, I got the game screen up. Let me make sure I got audio, because every time I don't, you know what happened, right? They did it to me the other day, didn't it? That's it. Yeah. I've been working on my camera over here a little bit, trying to get it tuned in a little bit better. I don't know if that is going to be better or worse. You can see me a little better, but you can also see my fat jaws a little better. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But it's up our show is. Well, we're going to take a load today. Of uh, sawdust panels. And it's going to be a trek across Switzerland. Start out in Geneva, home of the Geneva Convention, for you history buffs. And this is a Volvo truck. These European trucks is always a little bit of a challenge for me to drive. Much more than the American truck simulator. But we're going to try to give her a run for our money. Let me get home of the controls here and see if we can't get this show on the road. Oh, this is a, uh, it's just a bar truck. It's a rented truck. Company truck for this company. We'll take us a couple of trips today. Just have a conversation. I got my seat adjusted like I want it. Just a standard box trailer. TV. Good to see you, sir. Alright. It's got a nice interior in this truck. Pretty nice looking interior. I drove worse rented rent or use rented trucks. Oh Kelly. Alright, let's crank her up. Let's go. Four hundred and twenty nine mile trip from point A to point B. Let's see if we can get this out of here without dragging the gate. I think we're gonna make it, yep. There's Chris Everett. on the brakes. Make sure we got good brakes. Getting out of here may be a problem. Cars coming down that hill fast. Y'all give me a break here. We survived that little 
obstacles. All right. So as we drive, we'll do a little talking. Week four of the Virtual Fishing League is underway. Uh, this week's species is cutthroat trouts. Been on the trout swing the last two weeks. Last week we had uh, brook trout. This week we got cutthroats. I generally dedicate Monday to fishing for the Virtual Fishing League. I rarely fish outside of Monday for the league. Uh, because I've got lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I've got other things going on too, so I rarely fish outside of Monday for the league. I've worked at it about eight hours yesterday. Uh, I, I did okay. I, I, I got a I got a good bag. Nothing great. Probably won't win the week. But you do what you can. He says he's telling everybody but me his tips. <laughs> I might be in last this week. Oh, I don't think I'll be in last. But I don't think I'll finish first. If I don't if I don't try to upgrade. <clears throat> oh, this truck is wonky. Careful with this. I do have a competitor for Big Fish of the Week, though, I will tell you that. But it's not going to be a first place bag, so. Hello, Boone. We're going to, uh, we're halfway through the eight week. We will be halfway through the eight weeks on Saturday. Uh, Saturday morning, 8 a.m., week four of the VFL will close. And then fishing will stop until we pick the next species on Sunday evening. And uh, then we're going to start it up again, probably in a month. So we have another month to go, so it will be finished up around May the 1st. And we will probably be off in June. But in July, we are going to bring it back. Probably around the 1st of July. I'm thinking probably uh, the first week of July, the first Tuesday. And we are going to. Oh, crap. That was a. Oh! You see a little old car jet by me? Uh, we will probably, Troy, you need to watch Hog Legs show from this morning. 
Ah, ok. Jimmy Geiger, I just watched your video. I hope you drive these trucks better than you drive. <laughs> I drive that cruiser a lot better than I used to, Jimmy. That was an old video, and it took me a while. I didn't see how Greg had a show. I must have missed it on the subscription list. That was an old video. I drive that squad car a lot better than I used to. But anyway, what I was saying, appreciate you being here, Jimmy. We're going to, uh, probably the first Tuesday of the month will be the first uh, fishing for the VFL Season 2. I hadn't decided that's what we're going to call it yet, but uh, we're going to change it up this time and do it a little differently. We're going to um, we're going to do them on live. Uh, it will be on Tuesday night. I'm thinking uh, after Creo and Roger get finished with their show. And it will be three hours on Tuesday night. It will. And that's going to be the week's fishing. Everybody's going to fish Tuesday night on live. I'll have six screens up, or well, as many screens as I can put up. I don't know how, quite how many I can do, but I know I can do at least six to eight, and we're going to fish live for three hours. Now, the way that we're talking about doing that, and I have talked about this a little bit before, is on a couple of days ahead of time, or four days ahead of time, I am going to spin the wheel on a live, short live stream. And we are going to pick three fish, let the wheel pick three species, and I'm going to give the anglers three days of practice time, one for each species. And then, now this is the way we're talking about doing it now, this could change. On tournament night, which will be Tuesday, we will spin the wheel one time and those three fish that was picked a couple of days before will be the only fish on that wheel and the wheel will actually pick the fish species that night what we're going to fish for Keep left and then continue straight I'm going to give the competitors 15 minutes to get their tackle box set up Go straight and then we're going to hit the boat and go fishing. And we're gonna fish on live. You'll be able to see everybody's screen and what everybody's catching. And at the end of three hours, we're gonna have a winner. Whoever catches three biggest fish Keep left. And then with a total bag Free fish bag limit will be your winner for that week. That's going to be it. We're going to cut down on this much times we're spending on it and this grinding, and we're going to make it a little bit more tricky for everybody. Uh, and spend less time grinding and more time trying to catch the biggest bag limit that they can. That's the way I kind of wanted it to be. I kind of opened it up a little bit because I wanted to give everybody the opportunity to have time to be in it because people work. 
what I found is is we're grinding, 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 and the guys that don't have an opportunity to play it as much are unable to compete uh, with the guys that have more play time. So I want to try to rectify that. And that's why we're going to do it. Plus, if we do it on live, then y'all get the benefit of watching it if you want to. If I can get everybody gathered up on one night a week and do, do it in three hours, we'll be better off the long run. Get more people involved. So, I did think of what happens if we have a tie at the end of three hours? That's a mess, isn't it? Go straight on. Let me read what Jody wrote. Hog leg was showing what he won. He was proud. <laughs> he was proud, huh? Well, Hogleg did a good job. I'll have to go back and watch that. I I didn't see that on my subscription list this morning. I, I must have passed over it. But I will go back and look. Hey, when I get done here, I have a little time after I get done here. So, I look for something good to watch anyway. I have kind of lost track of when he does his show. Hogleg worked hard for that. For that win last week. Proud for him. What won't be PG? You talking about you talking about the the uh uh Tuesday night virtual fishing league, is that what you're talking about? You talk about the, the, the oh yeah, it's gonna be PG. <laughs> now listen, there ain't gonna be some jawing and aggravating going on, but it's gonna be PG. We are gonna keep it clean, guys. I'm gonna tell you that because I got too many young folks that watch, so we're gonna have to watch our mouths with the profanity. We kind of get a little, we kind of cut it a little loose when we're not on live, but when we're on live, we're going to tighten it up. We will be harassing each other, I promise you that, but it won't be no profanity. Not when we're live, gentlemen. But I think everybody knows that, so. I slip up and say something every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, coach you. Coach your behavior self when we lie. He don't We need to get Steve Adam to read chat. Well we maybe get him to do that. We'll talk to him about that. See if he wants to do that. He might want to do it. Go straight on.
go straight on. My, my thing for won't change the way we're doing it, I want to make it competitive for everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want, uh, I want to, I want to put it out there a little bit more. If we want it to grow, we need to broadcast it more. Uh, but it's like any other tournament or league you're doing. You learn as you go and you adjust right. on as you go. Now I haven't changed any rules uh, thus far and I'm avoiding doing that uh, right now. There's been some suggestions about some changes but I've really been hesitant about that because it's not fair to the people that's top the leaderboard start changing things now. We'll let it run its course four more weeks and then we're going to go to a new map and the new map will be Norway. Uh, and some of the fish that's over there in Norway and I can't remember them all. Atlantic salmon, asp, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. ASP. Uh, Pike is over there. Let me see if I can remember what's all over there. I, I know I can't. I know bullheads are over there. There's quite a few species over there. Uh, the European yellow perch. One of my favorites uh, to go after. Very colorful. And they get over five pounds, up to the six pound threshold. I like to catch them. Uh, I like to fish for them because of the ability to use jigs on them. So the Atlantic salmon get really big. So it ought to be a lot of fun. And it'll be on live, and y'all can watch us kid each other. Am I supposed to? I don't think I'm supposed to do that. A new group. Uh, no, you're not. I'm going to back up. Uh, poke fun at each other. And there's been, a lot of, there's been a lot of showmanship going on with it. Oh, crap. Oh, I almost hit the guard well. Been a lot of showmanship going on with this thing. A lot of jawing. So it'll be a lot of fun. Reboot. And the guys that's Keep been in it have really been putting the time in. I don't put enough time into it, uh, really. I'd have made the Never wrong. Mind. I'd have made a boo boo I'll again. And Dad gummit, it's gonna rain. Kelly bullet, I ought to boot you out of here for even mentioning rain. <laughs> like that doggone Kelly. So it's, the guys have really worked hard at it. I don't work hard enough at it. I should be, I should be getting off here when I get done of this and grind and try to win the week, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not doing it. I got too many other things going. Buck Williams is doing a good job. He's, he's really been putting the pedal to the metal. But I think when we when we do it on Tuesday night on live, I think it'll be a lot of fun for everybody to watch and to participate in. Uh, I am going to stop up here and get fuel, and because I don't know this truck that well, I don't know what kind of mileage I get out of this truck. I gotta have some lights. Uh oh. 
Why well, I may not be getting fuel there because I can't get across there. Alright, you know, that'd be the next one. Yeah, Hogleg did. He worked hard for that bag. Those brook trout were not easy to catch. They're not. One thing about it, the cutthroat trout, a lot of people caught cutthroats last week, so they know where them cutthroats are at. I caught one yesterday that's probably going to compete for big fish of the week, but that's probably the only one thing I'm going to win. My bag's not okay, quite big enough. Let's find a new route. Well, lady, let me get some gas, then we talk about a route. Kind of jumped the curve there, didn't I? All right, let's buy some fuel. So, I have not opened up the Norway map all the way. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go work on that today. I've been playing on the the new map over in Africa. They come out. I love it. The map's great. I'm gonna have to do a little fishing over there. We may do. We may. I don't know what we're gonna do on Thursday yet. I haven't decided. Uh, we may do a. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. We may play baseball. We may. We may go hunting. I don't know. I have a new game that I'm thinking about playing sometime. Kind of more of a laid back experience, but. Called Gunsmith Simulator. Just kind of play it. You build guns and clean them, and it's kind of a more of a chat talk. WWE, I knew that was coming. I, I hadn't got any characters built. I've been too busy with other stuff. You know that. I don't know why you would even bring that up. I ought to run over your toe for that. I know y'all want to see WWE. I got to get around to getting some characters built. That's probably not going to happen until after this tournament's over with. All right, we had to get some fuel. I'm not quite sure how much fuel this truck drinks. So, I might, I might go hunt ducks. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Depends on how much time I have to get something set up. I'd invite Keep right and then turn right. some of these guys to go hunt ducks with him, but none of them can shoot them. Turn right. Uh. None of them can shoot the dog on ducks. Stan, he shoots at them. About all he does. Makes a bunch of noise. Last time me and Stan went duck hunting, I let him shoot a flock of ducks three times. He didn't he didn't flock flew over, he shot three times, missed all three times. I let him empty his gun, and I shot two out of the flock. I don't even think hog legs even tried to duck hunt. Uh, Kelly kills a few now and then. They land on his barrel. The rest of them, I don't know. It's oof, pretty rough. <laughs> Get 
around this truck. Riding behind Miss Daisy up here. Come on, dude. Get it on down the road. There's an accelerator on the right side of that floorboard. Golly. Yeah, he said he shot a bunch of glitch ducks on the ground. <laughs> he pot shot them. Oh my God. I wouldn't even be proud of that. Come on, don't let me over all you, you joker. Uh oh, I may have shot myself in the foot right here. Jam on the brakes right in front of this guy here. Sweden. Yeah, it's Sweden. Got a load of wood saw pallets on the back of this truck. Of course, it's raining. You know how much I love that. I bet I was going to start a baseball game and franchise. I didn't even have time to do that. I, I bet. Really busy with this other, so. We've got a uh, a farm going on a server. Thanks to Timmy, Timmy Bully. Uh, put a server up for us. We got a we got a community farm going. We're gonna start trying to do a live on that. So. Uh, that's a multiplayer deal. Kelly and Timmy and Hogleg and uh, Dan, myself, Steve Adams. We're all multiplayer the farm, so we're gonna try to do some broadcasting on that. Let's do farming simulator on Thursday. Well, first of all, are you going to be home? We could do that. I'll have to check with Coach. See if he wants to join. Oh, uh, we need a planner. I don't have any way to replant the field. Keep you right and then exit right. We gotta get that resolved. Coach and I went there and harvested those right. Coach and I went and, har went and harvested two of those fields that we had planted. And I hauled the, the grain over to the granary, but we didn't have a way to replant it. They're gonna have to buy a planter. I noticed they got a mower, but we gotta have a planter. Well, 
weep am I doing now we bought we all bought farming simulator 19 because we're cheap <laughs> and we got a community farm on it Welcome in, Matthew. Oh, no, no, come on, fella, move. Yeah, we gotta have a planter. We're gonna have to talk to Boss Hogg about getting us a planter because. Uh, we needed to be able to replant that today when we harvested it. He said, hand plant. Yeah, well, I and Troy ain't doing that. Now, you know doggone well if I won't fish more than 10 hours on my own doggone tournament, I sure ain't gonna grind. Throw no, walk around, throw no. It's a bunch of hens cackling. That's what it sounds like most of the time, too. I just sit back and let them go at it. I just drive the trailer and get on the harvester every once in a while. I ain't. They go to cackling around. I don't say a whole lot. They. Uh oh. It's going to be tight. Keep your right and then exit. You notice I don't say a whole lot and they get to going at it hot and heavy. Huh? I just kind of sit back and listen. Thank you, Art. Appreciate you, buddy. Hope things going well for you. Uh, I just kind of sit back and let them go at it. But I can tell you, they get to cackling around. And they're trying to decide what they're going to do. I'd be about ready for a drink. <laughs> Golly. Missy, how you doing? Uh, how's, your, how's your foot? And good to see you. And stay safe. We had a little storm last night, too. Not too bad. It hadn't been too bad yet. Knock on wood. My wife said the other day, Go straight Got a tornado, watch. I really didn't say a whole lot. A little while later, she said, Did you hear me earlier when I said we had a tornado, watch? Yeah, I heard you. You don't ever say much about it. And I'm like, well, honey, it ain't like I can outrun it anyway. You're gonna get blown away. You're gonna get blown away again. Forty-six miles to go. Gonna do a little upgrading to the hardware for my computer. I'm going to get a second monitor. That's on the to-do list. 
make things a little bit more convenient when doing these type of things. Then I have a second monitor I can have full screen up here and I'll be able to see the chat on the second monitor and we'll have to manipulate the size of the game screen or go take things up and down to go back and forth into Discord. Oh yeah, it'll take a while that thing. Any fans possible? Good to see you. It'll take a while. I bruised one one time. Similar to what you, you've done. i seen the pictures you sent. And uh, that thing turned all kinds, about four, five different colors, literally. And it's sore for a long time. And I had a hard time with it, and I can't even walk. Just moving it hurts. And when I fell off that curb up there, at that doggone blood draw place, and broke my leg that time, of course I wheelchair landed on me, I jammed my toes into the ground, and them, when that feeling, uh, when them nerves started coming back around, waking up, ooh, mercy, I get the sharp pains in my foot, I'm sure you're having some of that too. Be sitting there and all of a sudden have a sharp pain. Or go get in the closet and get off the horn. And send me a message and let me know you're alright later. You better go get in the closet. Tornado sirens going off at Missy's. Y'all say a little prayer there. If you would. Turn that phone off go hide. Let me know you're alright later. Send me a message. Good Lord, I hate to hear that. Most of the bruising's gone. Yeah, that doggone thing of mine turned four five colors. Hurt, ooh. I think, uh, I'd be laying there, of course I couldn't do anything like I lay there for six weeks. Well, I didn't lay there quite six weeks, four weeks. Doctor, I went to the doctor. He said, well, it's still broke. But I could get up in the chair. I went fishing. It hurt like hell, but I went. <laughs> That's when I had a place to fish. I sure wish that place is still open. Show sure was convenient. Those places, type places, are great for people in a wheelchair. Unfortunately, they are disappearing. Oh, Mark, how are you? At the roundabout, take the first exit. <clears throat> Finally made it back to 75,000 euros. I had bought a truck, cost a bunch of money. I don't play this game near enough. None of the other guys have this Euro. I play it on live for y'all. And uh every other Tuesday I don't play it enough. Oh, 70, 70 miles away. You can hear it. Oh, oh my lord. We had a little touch of weather last night. Wasn't too bad. It, I, my wife said she thinks it hailed a little bit. I don't know if it did or not. But of course, once I go to sleep, I can drop a bomb outside. I wouldn't know it. Thank you. 
So, being some of my, being some some of my farming community crew is probably watching this live stream. I would like to make an announcement. Whichever one of you jokers is leaving my tractor that I hauled the grain to the granary on a quarter of a tank of fuel, fill it up when you're done with it. <laughs> I got in there and like running out of gas today. I don't know which one of y'all is doing that. Fill the tractor up when you're done with it. I used to tell my policemen the same thing. I didn't used to make me so mad to get in a squad car. And it'd be empty on gas. That used to make me so mad. I tell you what we'll do. If I can get hog leg to get us a planter in between now and Thursday, we might just fire up the farm on Thursday. If Coach and Kelly want to. We're going to do a little, little live on farming. I'll see what I can work out. In the meantime, let's think about taking another trip. Yeah, that dog on. I don't know which one of them done it, but somebody left it on almost empty. I'll find out which one it was. I don't know where we want to go. Y'all got a preference? We got this whole map. We can go France, Italy, Germany, Netherlands, the UK, Norway. Finland. I think we we'll probably want to stay out of Russia. They arrest people for trumped up charges there. Uh, Poland. <laughs> I'll probably get an email from somebody on that. Romania. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Y'all got a preference? I'll give you just a second to decide. West Virginia. <laughs> a little bit far. Amsterdam. I think Amsterdam's on here, but I can find it. I'm not geologically too inclined. Let's see if I can find it. I probably won't even get close. I think Amsterdam's on this map. We're about that B, Mark. <laughs> oh, my God. South England. Oh, my God. Let me pull up this world map, see if Amsterdam's even on here. We got time to do a couple of trips, so. Maybe Amsterdam's not on this map. South England. You just want me to drive on the wrong side of the road. I know what you're driving for. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go down here to the south of the United Kingdom. That's about as close as I can get. In the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands is on here. Yeah, there's the Netherlands. Okay. Amsterdam. All right, we'll take a quick one in Amsterdam, and we'll take a quick one in England. How far is this? This is a quick run. No, I don't want to go across that doggone ferry. Let's take this one right here. It's 157 miles. We got it. We found it. Told you I wasn't geologically inclined. I 
Live me. Hello. All right, let's start this joker up. Time to hit the road. Better look at the trailer on the back of this dude. Just the box trailer. I got to get out of that gate right there. I got to take a sharp right turn. Make sure I got enough fuel. Ooh, that's going to be tight. Golly, sure don't give you enough gas. Show sure ain't giving me much fuel. Turn right. Here we go. Run stop sign. That wasn't good. That's why you don't run stop sign. Golly. Sorry about that. He kind of got in the way, didn't he? These little old red, that little old red car knew about how bad I drove. It would be passing me like that. I'll see if I can talk to the talk to the boss about getting this planner. Maybe we can get on there and do a live on Thursday on the farm again. It is quite comical, I'll say that, listening to him. Trying to decide what they're going to do. Everybody's got a different opinion about which direction to go in. I don't know why we bought a bower before we brought a planter. I'm going to have to find out the reasoning on that. But I had a planter up there rented $1,100 a day. That's kind of costly. Keep you right and then exit right. Eating air fried burritos. Right. For lunch. Troy's his lunch break entertainment. Well, I'm glad I could be of assistance. I think start the, doing the virtual fishing league on on live on Tuesday nights uh, will be fun for us and fun for y'all to watch. They're doing a similar th similar thing called Tackle Tuesday, uh, kind of a league thing, but. They do that in the daytime. 
but we're gonna we're gonna start doing it after Roger and Creo show probably from eight central to eleven or nine to twelve on Eastern time. Lisa, I don't pay much. Thank you, Lisa. You too. I need to call y'all, see how you doing. Call Knucklehead Aaron. truck too fast. Fuck going to get out of this throttle a little bit. I'm riding probably about 10 miles an hour faster than I should be. As long as we don't get no big crazy curves, that would be good. Get one much sharper than this, so I will have to get out of the throttle. I hate to get out of the throttle if I don't have to. A lot of times it takes a lot of time to get the speed built up. Which lanes here that way ride this white line here. I think we're gonna have just enough fuel. To make this run. A lot of suggestion coming up here. May have to pass one of these on the shoulder. Uh oh. Yeah, I finally had to throttle down. How about that brother wants to bunch up right here? I got on there this morning and farmed a little bit with Coach. We harvested a couple of fields, made a little money back. But we're just now getting the farm started. get our money built up, I'm going to get hog legged by me a truck to haul my grain trailer instead of driving that doggone tractor. I ain't going to let nobody drive my doggone truck. They don't know how to fill it up, they can stay out of it. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't supposed to be passing these cars on the right side of the shoulder. But you know, Troy kind of does like he likes. At least that's what my wife tells me all the time. See how that worked? That's beautiful. I done got around all them jokes. Oh, I done took out a something back there. That was one of them little reflectors, I think. Make it up time, that's right. I'm fixing that to lock it up up here though.
Joker. I'm gonna come off his ramp hot if I can. Slingshot around these trucks. At least that's the plan. Here we go. There's one down. I knocked that reflector. I don't know if y'all can see that in the rear view mirror. That thing went flying. Boy, I'm gonna have just enough fuel to get there. There's two trucks pass. Come on, baby. Come on, get that one. Get that one more. Go straight on. It's gonna be tight. We're gonna try it. Oh! Wow! That was pretty slick to say so myself. I squeezed her in there, didn't I? I pull back here is why you don't let grandma ride in the front seat. You just give her a heart attack right Turn there. Keep right and then turn right. Talk about get the job done. We got the job turn done. Right. Run pretty good. Good running trip. Get ready to turn left. Yeah, I'm getting better at a long time. Turn left. Turn left. Say, uh, you pulled a little far out there, there buddy. It was a nice ride. Sure was. As she bees. Another one bites at us. He said, I've been patrolling and drive once a lick. But when I first started playing this, I couldn't. I better get it out of the doggone driveway. All right, let's go to England. Somebody wanted me to go to England a while ago, or well, close as I can get to England. South of the UK. Now, I got to drive on the wrong side of the road on this. Let's go to Plymouth. See what we got as far as a job. I ain't going across no doggone ferry. We'll take this one right here. Load of beef. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? <clears throat> All right. Oh. I'll check with the guys tonight. See if we can switch out of farming. Game on Thursday. Hey, uh, Buck William, uh, you talking about the Astros won that ball game? They he picked a Blanco throw a no hitter last night. All right. It's a load of beef. Now, the question is, is it beef or is it live cows? No, it's live. It's Euro Acres. 
Well, I don't have to worry about making hamburger meat out of it, I guess. They already hamburger meat. I don't know why the blanks are gone, but it is. They give me enough fuel. Barely. I don't know when these boys are tied with a few. I'm afraid I'm going to go to the bar or something. Well, I'm going to go to the truck is wobbly. See how that truck's wobbling walking the road? I'll have to be careful of this. I'll lay this joker over. Get ready to turn left. I won't be able to. It's this one of them top heavy trucks. Turn left. All right, let me see which way I got to go. I hate I hate driving on the wrong side of the road. Ain't a doggone nary car. Let me get my bearings straight here. I think. Lord be with me. Don't let the traffic get me. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm doing it right. I hope. I guess if we look up and there's two cars coming, we know we got a problem, right? Why do I feel like I'm on the wrong side of the road? Because I am. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, this was not a great idea there, 205, to put a hillbilly on the wrong side of the road. I am going into traffic, I think. But I'm not sure. Oh, Lord, I'm lost. I think I'm supposed to be on that side. I am. Oh, God. Get over there quick. Ooh. <laughs> There we go, that's better. Man. I think I was on the wrong side of the road there, folks. Doggone backwards driving. track now. Thank goodness, right? That confuses the devil out of me. Alright. These trucks sure don't run all that fast. Golly, come on truck. I got it to the floor. Go ahead and get some downhill speed. I probably can't run this truck over by 60 without wrecking it. I mean, I have got, I got the pedal to the metal. They must have a governor on this truck. Hope I don't have to go across no big hill. I might have to get out and push this joker. Just pick up some speed there going downhill. I bet that's all I like running 65 without wrecking it.
starts, you see how wobbly that is? Oh, Lord, have mercy. That is not good. Keep left. First and time I drove one of these off. trucks, I was used to driving that American truck simulator. I got to back off the throttle. And I, uh, come down a dog on and bank my. See how that thing wobbling? Ooh, that's, ooh, that's not good. Oh man, that truck is wobbling. I come down one of these things one time, laid that joke roll on his side. First time I ever drove one, I thought, yeah, this is going to be interesting. See how that thing started leaning there? Dog on top heavy truck. That's a heavy load. Yeah, and these trucks are short nosed and got them and are tall. Yeah, they look good, Buck. I looked at them this morning. They look real good. Thank you for doing that. It takes a little time off me to Sunday I have to get everything ready for Sunday's live stream and have to make sure I got the numbers totaled up for the week. Last thing I want to do is get an email. Hey you idiot you miscalculated my numbers. I had more weight than that. Fix it. So I always double and triple check my work. Oh my god. That was tight. I don't want to get on there and say somebody won the week when they didn't win the week. I know I won't be winning the week this week. Y'all probably going to put in like 33, 33 pounds worth. I fished 10 hours yesterday. I did catch a big one. Oh, I got a nice one. Wish I had three to go along with it. Or two more, rather. If I had two more that size, I'd be, I'd be in the catbird seat to win the week. But I put eight to ten hours in yesterday, and that's all I'm going to do. I got other things I got to get done. hear that automatic brake. That automatic brake winding her down, boy. Hear it? Nothing like burning up a pair of brake shoes. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Eesh! Well, that didn't turn out like I wanted it to. Suddenly we went down to one lane. That did not turn out good. I don't like to total that truck. Doggone driving on the wrong side of the road. Be quiet, Steve Adams. <laughs> oh, Lord. Steve, these guys asked me about doing the farming game on live Thursday for the live. We're going to have to talk to our leader and see if we can get a planner. talking to me about I can't fish for the lick. No, I just ain't gonna play that doggone thing no 10 hours a day. I think I got enough fuel. I don't think I gotta worry about it. I caught some nice ones yesterday, but 
ดันนั่งเดินเริ่มเวลาได้เคชวอตลาเราจะไปดูว่าจะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงที่จะเป็นสัตว์เล On the phone and tell me to go buy a planner, Steve. He's holding up progress. Hog leg, we, if you're listening, we need a planner. The rented planner's gone back to the shop. We need a, we need to be able to plant. Oh, no. Ooh, you see that? That was tight. I have a hard time deciphering whether it's two lanes or one on this European Joker. Boy, I missed that head-on collision by, I mean, an inch. That Joker was almost in my lap. I'll be glad to get this load of beef up here and get it. I don't know how I missed that. I don't know how he missed the trailer. Or this road can get curvy. Get off the throttle. Walking that road, look at that joker. Boy, oh, slow down, I'm gonna lay this joker over. It's funny when you lay one over, it just kind of goes over in slow motion. Nervous way this joker be walking the road. I've got a car mod for this for American truck simulators. Got a real fancy car on it. Kind of like a not a sports car, it's more like a luxury car. And I installed the mod. It 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 it's a cool mod. It looks good. It's you know, it's really a nice car, it's really nice detail, you know, on the interior and everything. Good. But it handles like one of these trucks. <laughs> kinda of, it's kinda of tough to drive. And it runs out of gas pretty like a truck, but... Keep you right, and then continue straight on. They would work on that mod a little bit and add a little... Go straight on. Make it a little easier to drive and, and uh, increase the fuel. Or decrease the fuel consumption. Be a nice car just to get in and ride across the United States. Go for just a car ride. I've got another game that they're still adding a lot to it that I haven't done yet. It's a driving game. 
And I've got one, a new one that I played from time to time. And then continue straight on. Had them played on live. It's called Gunsmith Simulator. It's pretty cool. Take guns apart, Go rebuild them, on. paint them, put finishes on them. Kind of a kind of a creative type thing. Rolling. They're adding some content to the gun simulator. They're adding new guns and new features all the time. It's going to be one of those games. It's going to take a little while to get it uh, on up there where you got a lot of content to work with. but. Taking those guns apart on the bench is kind of interesting. Uh, it's kind of a blueprint of that gun. You have to kind of take it apart. You kind of learn how to maybe take a, like a German Luger apart, disassemble it and reassemble it. The, take the, third the third, I hate these roundabouts. I really hate them. I think I did it right though. That was my stop. Left, and then turn left. This is where it ends. Turn left. Here's your hamburger patties. Come get your hamburger patties. 165 miles. In the books, I'm about to be, I'm about to be level 19. Well, let's see what we can get into now. Where have, where could we go? You know, Ah, let's go to Russia. Lithuania to Russia. Maybe we catch old Putin coming out of the Kremlin and run over his foot. Let's take a trip. Ninety-nine miles. Well, they're proud of these trailers, ain't you? All right, let's fire this dude up. Okay, here we go. I got enough fuel for a 99-mile trip for sure. I think this is the first time they give me a, a little bit extra gas. I guess they're afraid I'm going to go to the bar in it. This truck shouldn't wobble as bad as that last one did. Get out of here where I can see. Oh yeah, this truck got a little bit more oomph to it. Oh yeah, this truck's a little bit more grounded. It don't. Well, wow, that last truck was wobbly, boy. I'm the ground. Right Take the second exit. 
It probably be my luck. Here comes the rain. Yeah, ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to Russia right now. The way things are going over right now, I believe I stay out of there. Good grief. Love to find yourself a permanent resident over there. Recomputing what? I'm on the right track, lady. Checking my documents. Come on, open the gate. I'll pull you back out. We're fixing to cross over into Russian territory, folks. Keep left and then turn back. Here we go. We are in Russia. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Checking your documents. We are now in Russia. Yes, I got one more checkpoint I got to go through. That should be the last of it. Nope, we got one more. Golly. Welcome to Russia. Truck got a little power to it. A little bit better than that last truck. Roll on, big truck. Lord. 
This truck will roll, boy. We moving. This truck got a little power to it. Y'all thought I was gonna wreck back there, didn't you? Turn Y'all just thought I was gonna lose it. Yeah, this truck handles a lot better. Keep yeah, this joke here is a hot car. Come on, babe. Horn needs work with the truck around good. Y'all see how fast I'm getting this load done in this territory, right? We're getting this done. Get out of here. Got enough room? I, I should be passing on this hill. Ooh, it's not going to be good. I better fall in behind this just for a minute. Oh, we're going to go left up here anyway. Get ready to turn left. We're going left anyway. Turn left. Ooh. I missed the break. <laughs> I missed the break. finger on the brake and missed it. Yes, she sound pretty mean, don't she? Yeah, that, that, that joke has got a purr to her. Go straight Good. on Lord, and then turn right. That's a sharp right turn. Turn right. Man, that's a sharp man.
Unless there's any fish in that river. I don't do that. Doggone idiot. Pull right out in front of me, why don't you? Go straight up. See ya. Wonder how much impression apartments go for. Me a little faster next time, would you? No, I'm just showing out now. I'm just riding and looking. How you doing, Dustin? Good to see you, buddy. Got to remind them every once in a while who the big the big cat is. Currently at the physical therapist. Wait, yeah, wait, get that therapy in. Yep. That's an important thing, show is. Uh, let's see where I want to go. I don't know what this is down here. Certainly don't want to take the dog on ferry. See if they got a little job on this island, I doubt it. Not on the island yet. A load of motorcycles. They may not look like motorcycles when I get done with them. Some of these jobs are long. They would like take a long time to go to them. We're going to go back down here. Take the motorcycle job. That's all a load of motorcycles. 
Uh, that's not the one I want. Thought there was another motorcycle. Here it is. Yeah, let's take this one on into Turkey. This is from the outskirts of Romania on into Turkey. All right. camera up there. I think that camera's well adjusted now. Y'all should be able to see me a lot better. They may to get to that for a while. Alright. As always, let's look at the trailer. It's just the same trailer. Standard trailer. I'll give you an answer in Discord later, but I gotta figure out how to get out of here. That's the million dollar question. I think I should have went left. I'm probably going to jackknife this joker. I think I'm barely going to miss it. Yep. That's the advantage of having a short nose truck. I just barely missed it. I should have went left. But well, we got it. Drag the gate. Oh, no, they don't give you a lot of room to get out of there, do they? Get ready to turn left. We're out of there. Turn left. All right, this has got a three-stage windshield wiper on it. Moves a little faster. A lot of them have two stages. My truck's got a three stage. Turn right. Ooh. All right, we're rolling. So I don't know if y'all were in here the other night, another day when I was talking about this, but and not only did we put up a, a multiplayer server for the farm, I say we, Timmy, did work on it, but we got one up for the trucking game too. So our convoy experience should be a lot easier to set up. We have a issue sometimes of getting it started, but now that we got this trucking server up, should be a lot easier to get in the convoy, and should be a lot more stable. tested it out once 
need to get on that. Do a truck drive at night. All right, we're rolling. Sometimes we have a hard time getting that thing going. And when we're trying to do it live, you know, a lot of times we get on about 30 minutes early to try to avoid having issues of getting the live started, but sometimes it does it anyway, so. This should be a lot better. We've got a program that we're, that me and Kelly and I'm Kelly, Timmy and I are running called Truck Books. And it pretty much, we started it. Ah, come on. We started the trucking company with it. And it pretty well keeps a log of everything you do. So, kind of calculates your numbers and keeps a log book. Uh, I think Timmy's named it Armchair Trucking. Uh, and the farm has also got a name Shady Acres. Somebody said. Sound like a retirement village. It's about what it is with the crew we got running a bunch of old men and a handicapped guy. Sounds like a retirement village. But in any event, should make the trucking game a lot easier to go live on. Took us a week. We, we, we've been talked about doing that for a while. It took us a little bit of time to find a server. And we got one. I wanted to go with somebody here in the United States. It's a lot of overseas servers for gaming. The problem is, if you, you're paying a monthly fee on that, you'll probably never get them to stop taking it out of your account if you cancel. We got one out of New York, and we're lined up and ready to go. Oh, Dale. So, come on, dude. If I can get her, get her out from behind Miss Daisy right here. Come on, dude. Put your foot in it, son. I'm going around this joker. I about had all him I want. That was certainly not in the rule book, was it? But we did it anyway. Sometimes you got to go a little off script. check out the farm when we get done. Yeah, it's been a while, Dale. Glad to see you. Thought about that the other day. I said, I seen Dale in a while, but I figured you'd be busy. Good to see you. Appreciate you coming in. I know a lot of people rewatch the live. I get a lot of views after the live is over. I'm averaging. Oh, this road is wet. I'm averaging somewhere in between 150 and 200 views a stream. Appreciate you guys supporting it. 
I get a lot of views offline. I mean, off of live. People come in and work. But I have a lot of people that just watch in the background. Don't ever chat. They just come on and watch. And I see, I know, I know that you're there watching. I appreciate you. I always go back and watch the wrestling. Yeah, when I get done with this, I got four more weeks after this week of this virtual fishing league, and then I'm going to get to take some time and make some characters for the wrestling. I'll start running that out there. I know everybody's eager to see it. I need to get some characters made. I've been trying to do my fishing on Mondays. Then I got live on Tuesday and then Wednesday I usually catch up. And uh day and then Thursday I have a live. Sunday night we farm together. So, then I have to total up the numbers for the Virtual Fishing League on Sunday and get the live stream ready for Sunday evening. Then I got shows that I like to watch on YouTube. Excuse me. Keep left and then turn left. So a lot of times I'll be watching the show on YouTube and I don't say anything in chat, but I do watch. Sometimes I'm just busy working on other stuff. If I come in the chat and say anything, I like to be able to take the time to at least acknowledge somebody if they speak in chat. I don't like to leave feel like anybody's left out. Sometimes I'm just watching because I'm really busy and don't have a whole lot of time. But I do watch. Alright. All right. Let's see if we can burn this road up. 197 miles. I'm fixing to put the hammer down on her. I'd like to run. If I could road stays pretty well straight. I might be able to run by 70. Maybe even 75. We're in 70 now. 69. I'll probably run by 75 on this strip. Well, no I won't either because there's a big curve coming. I will throttle it down, figures. Oh, it's a loop-de-loop -loop coming. I sure can't take that to 75. Keep right, and then exit right. Tonight is Tuesday. I always try to right. mention the shows when I can remember who's all on. Now, I do know that Roger Creel will be live tonight on their channels. Get ready to turn up. Tomorrow night we have Pan Fish Nation. Turn left. Always a f friend and fan of Panfish Nation. I have a membership to Panfish Nation. I watch that. Sometimes I pop in, can only stay a little while. Sometimes I don't chat much, but I usually have it on. Bait Shop will be Thursday. Team Snag and Whiskers will be after that. When that Bait Shop's over with, or before it's over with, or 
depends on if Chad and them are done. It's always a back and forth about that. It's kind of fun. And then, of course, Miss Jody's on Friday. And I believe Jody's Flathead Challenge resumes right. and then continues this Friday on. night, I believe, is what she said. So straight on. I try to share the leaks out as much as I can. Sometimes one gets by me, I forget it, but I try to do the best I can with that. That green car right there got a little closer. I think I was sort of in his lane, but we won't tell him. I will probably go and check on the farm when I get done here and see if there's any on all the, the uh, see if there's any work needs to be done on the multiplayer farm. And I think then after that I'll go set my tackle up and fish over up. at on the fishing game over at Norway. Well, uh, we're going to be doing the Norway map next. I think I'm supposed to go through there a little bit slower than I did, but... The Norway map next for the VFL, which will be starting about July. That will be the end of this one here in May, and then we will take June off. And then we will start on the Norway map. We're going to be doing those on Tuesday night. Live, three hour session, be the only night of fishing for the week and that will begin after Roger and Creo's show is over. So we're going to have something on Tuesday night for everybody to watch. We invite you to come watch us. I'll be talking about that. Oh my god, what did I hit? Hey, you want to open the gate again, son? I didn't run over something. what I hit. We will be, I'll be talking about that more when it gets closer to starting the VFL up again. About how we're going to do the lives. And we're still working on conversating about it. Working on some of the new some rule changes if we need them. But we will have a Tuesday night live for the Virtual Fishing League and that will be every Tuesday night starting about 8 central. Waiting on to read the documents. Uh, if you're interested in joining this season two of the Virtual Fishing League, which will start in July, uh, I'll put a notification up on the Virtual Fishing League Facebook group page when we're ready to start accepting signups. Uh, I'm, I'm in conversation with some of the guys about how we can work this out for people that don't go live that can still participate. And I think what we're going to do is, I think if you're not going to be able to go live on Tuesday night with us, some people have problems doing that. From a console, I think I've got one console player. Uh, I think that's. Uh, I 
Mr. Gary Oliver is the console player, I believe. We're working on how we're going to do that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut it down to a three-hour window. So you would fish for a bag, you got three hours to catch the biggest bag you can catch. I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, Turn right. And we'll just have to do the console players on the honor system. Let you let you fish the three hour window, you can turn in free fish for three hours. A one and done type thing. So I wanna be able to include the console players if I can. I don't think there's another league that's doing that right now. And a lot of a lot of players are getting left off these leagues because so but we'll work it out figure it out but the majority of us are on PC so we will be live on Tuesday nights <clears throat> starting in July at least that's a set day for right now we have got 100 miles to go I gotta tell you, after driving this trip two hours, I am done done all the driving I'm gonna do. We got a, we got ninety six miles to go and we are going to get this job done. Get me to the paycheck on time. Fifty six mile mile is the speed limit, seventy now kilometers or whatever they call it over there in Europe and since we get the truck up to speed we got another inspection good lord we went through 40 checkpoints today come on I'll be ready for my one a day Dr. Pepper here in a minute looking forward to that this is a tight fit golly Ah, could you make that any smaller? Hang, dude. I may have went through the wrong side. Alright. I think I went through the wrong side. I don't think that was for this size of truck. We might have widened that a little bit back there. Shh, don't tell nobody. I usually drink me one Dr. Pepper Zero a day, and I am ready for that dude. Get down here, I have to go con my beautiful wife into fixing me one. And then tonight, we're going to have a steak cooked a package of steaks the other day. We only eat one. They were massive steaks. And we're going to have a few nice big cocktail shrimps. Baked potato and a green salad. Yummy. Bought a couple of steaks from Sam's. Opened that package. They were massive. They were big, nice, thick steaks. Me and the wife only eat one of the two we fixed. We're going to eat the other one tonight. I'm ready for it already. 64 miles to go. Come on! Just in time to turn the baseball games on. Ooh, almost hit that car. This truck will roll. I'm doing 85, baby. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. I showed up and wrecked this joker. Hey, we 87. All right, for you speed demons, here's your here's your thrill of the day. 88. Can we make? Can we touch 90? 89. 90. I'm gonna keep her wide open as long as she'll let me. 
the 90s, all we're going to get out of it, boys and girls. Yeah, eat pretty good tonight. Yeah. see it. Oh my god, I don't know how that happened. Did you see that? I jumped the guardrail. My god. I jumped the guardrail and landed on all fours. I couldn't do that again if I tried. Oh, and I'm on the wrong side of the interstate. I gotta get back over. Oh my lord. Okay, let's find a new route. I gotta get back over somehow. That was horrendous. I clipped that truck back there. Well, for you folks that like to see fast driving and a little bit of a wreck, you got to see it there. I hide the devil and I hit that guardrail and jumped his truck over the rail. Oh my god. I gotta get back across. Come on, give me a some space here, dude. Y'all better move. <laughs> I gotta, gotta give me a break while I get across. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Find a new route. I got a mess. Oh my god. This has turned out to be a disaster. You'd think there'd be a crossover, right? Rebel River. Cats, what's going on, buddy? I got a mess. Okay, let's find a new route. Find a new route. I gotta get off this interstate somehow. I may have to turn this. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Fix to get off right here. And try to figure this out. Okay, let's find a new route. These cars are thinking this clown is going the wrong, no, no way. I may just have to turn around. What a disaster. Find a new route. Come on, lady. All right, let me see now. What? Let me pull up my doggone map. And see if I can figure out where in the devil I can get back on the right track here. Alright. What we need to do. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Is we're gonna shut the whole mess down here. I'm gonna try to pull a Yui and get this truck going back in the right direction. If I lived a hundred years, there ain't no way in the world that I could have jumped a guardrail that massive and land on all three wheels. I look like a cat. Now that is what you call greatness. When you can mess it up that bad and make it look that good, that is greatness. Golly. What a disaster. I need to go make a short out of that. that that's going to be kind of fun. Alright. 
Now we have got back on the right track. We're only 11 miles from where we're supposed to be. <laughs> Damn, said so shut them windshield wipers off. Yeah, I was so worried about getting back on track, I wasn't even paying attention, did I? Oh Lord, we're going through this again. I think I'm supposed to be over here. Oh my God. I didn't learn anything the last time. Oof. I think I went through here a while ago and said I went the wrong way and I did it again. Oh, that damn it. Fella, you better move. You stand up there rocking. This trip right here has turned out to be a mess. Here, weigh it. You so doggone intent on weighing it. <clears throat> well, we had a couple of good trips. This turned into the clown show. Get this thing up here. Golly. I cannot believe I jumped that guardrail like that and landed. I, I thought for sure it's going over. I really did. And when it when it started going, I'm like I knew it was happening. I'm like trying to hit the brake, and Keep it right ain't stopping. And then exit right. It ain't stopping because there ain't no tires on the ground, you idiot. You up in the air. Exit right. I see Stan can wreck him up, but he can't drive gracefully like that and land on one on pole. Keep right. And then he, the boy right. just ain't got it in him. Right. He just, the boy just ain't got it in him. Turn that blinker off, make you want to drink. Alright. Seven miles to go. I'll have to go back and clip that and make a show out of that. That was pretty nifty. If you're going to make a mistake, you might as well do it in style. Golly, are we going through this again? Come on. How many th are there these things? Golly. Keep right and then turn right. I wonder if they can't get no business done over here in Turkey. You got too many checkpoints. Four miles to go. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding. Another one.
doggone they show collect our taxes over here. It's been the longest three miles I've ever experienced. Three miles, three checkpoints. Keep right and then keep left. Come on, truck. You either gotta move. Quit speeding up when I'm trying to pass you. If you're gonna go, just go, feller. I'm sure they are. Keep left. Okay, okay let's, let's find, find a new route. route. Oh, you gotta be kidding. That gummy. I went the wrong way. Figures. Recomputed. That gummy. <laughs> oh, Dick, how are you? I'm lost. I went the wrong way. Well, we might as well pick this up while we're right here. There's a little marker right here. Let's give us a little movie view of Turkey. Enjoy the show. Let's give us a little Moving view of Turkey. I'll let y'all see that. <clears throat> you park on these little cameras, it gives you a little view. A little extra graphic designing. Takes a lot of time to build them graphics for these cities. I bet they got one person that does that. Just for the graphic designs of the cities. Or one team, maybe. Alright, let's finish the job. I can not miss the turn this time. As a pharmacy, I'm assuming. May need to stop and get some headache pills time and so it I think I'm about to go through this doggone checkpoint again. Bitch, what you want to bet? Don't miss the turn, Troy. Keep right and then turn right. Turn 
Turn right. And then, and then exit, exit right. right. Be driving over here. And this dog on foreign land is like. Exit right. Putting a, a monkey in the desert. I don't know where the, where the devil I'm supposed to be going. We're trying to figure it out though. Longest dog on three miles I've ever drove. I'm trying to watch this map more close so I don't miss the dog on turn again. At the ground, take the first exit. Exit now. Piggy! What's say, Piggy? Lord, I see the flag up there, and I don't miss the turn, Troy. Keep right, and then exit right. Exit right. Got it. Missed it the first time, but got it on the second try. It's all gravy on the biscuits now, baby. Right, and then keep left. Keep left. Reroute. Doggone, I almost done it again. We backing it up. Keep right in the middle of the road. I don't give a hoot. Doggone. We like to mess it up, didn't we? I'd be glad to get this dropped off. Hmm. We had all kinds of problems on get this load. To turn right. Turn right. Get, get this. <laughs> wow. It's Open the gate. Wow. What a 
Lance. Whoever's challenging would it? We made it. That was the worst trip of the day. We only got reasonable on that. I don't even see how that's reasonable. I run over everything in Turkey trying to get that there. Well, we gained a little like, skill points. How in the world are you gaining skill points on that disaster? We're going to take this one right here. All right, we have arrived. Still got 21 people in here watching this disaster of a drive. That, that last trip was a mess. Uh -uh. Dog covered his eyes up his so bad. All right. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of Real and Virtual Outdoors. And I will see you guys on Thursday. And it's up in there what we're going to be doing. We're going to try to do a little farming maybe. See what the guys want to do. I appreciate you. I'll see you a couple of days. And I, of course, will be live Thursday and Sunday. Sunday week for the VFL. To announce the weekly winner. God bless you and I'll see you. Uh, in a couple of days, and as the great Porky Pig would say, uh, bleep, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs>